Welcome back to another one. What's on the menu today is beef shank or osubuko. Osubuko is an Italian term that means a bone that has holes. <laughs> and basically, it's a bone that has holes, as you can see. This is our osubuko. This is about a kg. It's a beef cutting that comes from the arm part of the cow and it's also referred to as beef shank. Osubuko is just an Italian term. And I'll be making that today for dinner. I'll be pairing it with a very famous African dish that we call mukimo. And I have all my ingredients here with me. I've washed them and chopped them ready to use. So I'll start by marinating our osubuko or beef shank. And this marinade that I'll be using is not new here on this channel. If you've not watched my tofu video or my chicken gizzard video, kindly go watch it. It's the same marinade that I use for all my meats. It's also a very good marinade for not only beef or red meat, it's also a very good marinade for fish, for chicken, for all kinds of meats. It softens the meat and it adds a very nice flavor to it. As promised here, we always share very interesting tips. That's why you guys should consider subscribing. If you haven't yet subscribed, press that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell to get notified every time we post a new video. And for my returning subscribers, you guys know by now that you're my sugar, spice, and everything nice. So let's get started by marinating our beef shank. So guys, for the marinade, we'll need a bowl to combine all our ingredients in. I used about a tablespoon of dark soy sauce. And you can also use this chain core brand of light superior soy sauce. I highly recommend this one. It has the best flavor and you won't need to add any salt to the meat. It has its own salt. I also added about a tablespoon of ground black pepper. I added two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I used sunflower oil. And I also added three grated cloves of garlic. And about a tablespoon of grated ginger. I added the leaves of two fresh rosemary stems. These are the boss in this marinade, guys. They take it from zero to hero. The flavor and aroma that this marinade adds to meat. There's a good reason why I use it, guys. I marinate almost every meat I, use, I, I cook with it. I also added a tablespoon of my Ethiopian chili. And of course, juice from one lemon. And the acidity in the lemon is what softens the meat and adds a really nice tangy flavor to our osobuko meat. So here I'm just squeezing the juice from uh, my lemon. I used one lemon for this. And what we're going to do is stir nicely to combine. Look at that, guys. It already looks so scrumptious already. So here we're going to be coating our subuko with our marinade. I'm just pouring it here and we're going to stir it and rub all the pieces of meat together to make sure that they are well combined and that the marinade covers it completely wow look at that and guys you can also use a ziploc bag for this so i'm just covering up mine with some cling film just to make it airtight that's why ziploc bags work better here but this will still work if you have a bowl it works perfectly so we're going to be marinating this osubuko for about two hours but if you have time you can marinate it overnight 
it'll make it softer and the process will be easier to cook so here as uh, osubuko marinates i'm just getting the other ingredients ready that we'll be adding in i used about um, one red onion and i also used one leek and guys i didn't add all these onions into the osubuko this i had some accompaniments that i was making as well i was making some mukimo on the side i was making some steamed cabbage so i ended up chopping all the onions together and i just divided them according to the meal and guys watch out for that because i have a very interesting way to make mukimo so watch out for that video guys i'll be sharing it soon and here i'm just chopping up three tomatoes that i'll be adding into my osobuko to kind of stew it up and give it some nice gravy and guys you can also get these osobuko cuttings from your local butchery they do this they're just beef shanks they're just cuttings from a specific part of the cow you can get them anywhere and so this was about two hours later and asubuko is ready to go into the fire and i'm just using a big wide pan here because i'm cooking them whole and i won't be adding any oil guys i'm just adding them directly to the fire because our marinade already has some oil And I need a big pan because I'll be making some gravy with it, some to tomato sauce. So I need enough space to turn it over. Since I'm cooking the pieces whole, I'm not going to be cutting them here. Look at that. So I'm just going to fry it for about 10 minutes. I'm just covering it up here to cook with the steam. And this was 10 minutes later look at that wow so here i'm just going to turn it over to cook the other side and at this point the meat has browned nicely and guys remember the marinade has softened it so we need to boil it this will come out very tender and especially if you have more time to marinate it for a longer period of time it will be even softer so i marinated mine for about two hours i'm just turning over the sides and i'm going to be covering it here to cook this other side so here i'm just covering it and letting it cook for a further 10 minutes so i'm just cooking the other side that i turned over and this will be very soft guys so here i'm just adding in my tomatoes to form the saucy tomato gravy and I use about three tomatoes for this and here I'm just going to be covering them to simmer for about five minutes until they are tender and easily crush the tomatoes I'm going to cover it until the tomatoes easily crush and guys remember I'm cooking this on low heat so it's just simmering on very low heat and as i cook let's chop up our coriander guys you know that my food is not food if i don't put any coriander if i don't put any dania if i don't put any stems of the dania i mean they just give our food a very nice flavor so this was five minutes later and our tomatoes have softened as you can see i'm easily crushing them with my wooden spoon or wiko here so guys osubuko originated from italy it's an italian dish and they add a range of vegetables in it they also use some wine to cook it so at this point you can add any other vegetables of choice but i prefer to just use tomatoes and onions for this since i already have some side cabbage salad so I'm just adding about a cup of water here. I want it to still remain thick. I didn't want it too watery or runny.
so i'm adding in my leeks and my onions i used about one red onion and a half a leek and i'm just tying them in i just love that onion flavor leeks are uh, like in the onion family guys so if you want to add some onion in your food you can use leeks they're just like spring onions they give the food a very nice onion flavor i just love that onion flavor in my food especially when it's not completely cooked that's why i add it at the final stage so here i'm just going to cover and simmer for about five minutes Subuko is finally ready. Look at that, guys. The sauce is bubbling. Wow. It's ready to take off the fire and serve. Look at that. It looks really good here. And the meat has softened as well. So, guys, I cooked this for roughly half an hour, and the marination helped because it softened it. Normally, you'd have to cook it for a longer period of time because meat from this part of the cow tends to be a little tough but the marination helped and this was so yummy guys it's slapped you can serve it with anything of choice any accompaniment of choice i served mine with some mukimo that i'll be sharing a recipe about soon this was so tasty guys that marrow oh my goodness guys if you like this video leave me a thumbs up comment down on the comment section below and let me know what you think kindly like share with your friends and family wow and don't forget to subscribe as well this was so tasty guys and it turned out quite soft as you can see it separates easily it was quite tender this was so tasty guys if you try this out let me know down on the comment section below. Thank you for watching. See you on my next one.